So it turns out that if you have your cardiac arrest on a Monday to Friday between 9 and 5 p.m., then you have your selection of AEDs. But if it's the middle of the night or out of hours, then really your options diminish quite considerably. So we performed a study where we simply looked at the automatic uh, external defibrillators available in our city and visited each of those sites and what we did was we asked the first person we came across where the AED was located and then sought to find out what hours it was available and uh, how, to, how to get it. What we found was that these devices are actually quite inaccessible. There were only three devices in the city that were available all the time at medical centres and fire stations. Uh, there was one at a petrol station as well. Most of the defibrillators were at lawyers' offices, banks, and they were available nine to five. They were sometimes on a second or third floor, which required swipe access to get to the stairwell to find the defibrillator. And we think that this is not a satisfactory way to have these defibrillators. If people are going to purchase defibrillators as an active community, they need to be accessible to the community. So we feel that defibrillators or AEDs should be like fire extinguishers. They should be in cases that are able to be accessed by smashing glass or punching a code or something to make these readily accessible. I was at the dentist and he proudly showed me his defibrillator that he'd bought. It was out the back of the dental surgery, it was on three shelves up and it was relatively inaccessible. If you're going to purchase a defibrillator and you're altruistically putting it on a website to say this is available and could save somebody's life someday then I think not only do you need to make it uh, visible, but you need to make it accessible. And not only accessible, but accessible at all times. Because not everybody has a cardiac arrest between 9 to 5, Monday to Friday.